Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got some more hay to build today. We had a couple setbacks uh, on this baler when we first started. Uh, we had an issue with the bale size and uh, the potentiometer would uh, not read the bale size accurate. So what was happening is it was supposed to be alerting you at uh, 54 inches and it would do that and then it would um, it's supposed to stop at 60 inches on this baler and uh, it wasn't and it would go past it so what would happen is is this belt would get too big or the bell would get too big and uh, it would stretch the belts out and uh, eventually bog down the tractor so anyway, uh, if you look right here, these uh, lock latches actually come down and lock. Well, this side needed adjusted, so it was barely catching. Um, well, right now they're not locked because I let the tailgate down uh, with just the down pressure with the tractor off. So you gotta have the tractor running to get them to go ahead and lock. But just to show you, these this side was only down like this far, so in the bale, uh, got too big it actually popped this lock off and uh, pushed the tailgate open like this far so part of the bell is sticking out and this latch uh, over here was doing the same thing except for it was locked but luckily enough it was high enough I could just hit this uh, with the hammer and it finally popped off and I was able to get the bail out so I made another round and we figured out what happened. Okay, this, I had to hit that up and it wouldn't lock. And then, um, so this was the uh, potentiometer up here for the bell size. So it just, it, uh, it went bad and it, got out of adjustment up there so you have to recalibrate it with the monitor inside and another thing that happened was this linear actuator here that goes down and cuts the net wrap um, it broke off right here and I had to have dad re-weld it but uh, I was bailing and I noticed the net wrap when it went to tie or wrap the bell, it just kept on, you know, wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And I looked back and it's like, man, this thing ought to be done by now. And so I just manually cut it and I opened the bell chamber and let the bell out. And uh, it had about 40 rolls of uh, net wrap on it. So I got out here and looked and found out that this thing had broken so it won't slam down and cut the net wrap off. So we had that issue got it re-welded and I guess when we did that it caused this thing to get out of whack or something and actually go bad so um, it still it would cut but it wouldn't sense it and you had to sit there and, and uh, do it automatically so I'd have to go and Count like six to seven seconds when I think it gets three wraps on the bell and hit the extend button in the, on the monitor in there to get it to uh, cut the net wrap. So got a new one of those, got that fixed, got that one up there recalibrated, and a bell 55 bell so far, no issues. So let's hope that uh, that keeps going well. start raking, raking up that hay, it's ready. And the other part of it is the hair green, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. And after I get done raking, it should be ready to bale. So 
I widened the rake out to, uh, to make the wind road just about five feet wide. And uh, that's doing a better job of keeping the bell shape even.
Agco up there has got a valve stem that's leaking on it. Just started leaking, so that right back tire is going down. So he's going to hurry up and try to get this right before it goes flat. And we had to switch the uh, hydraulics uh, over to a different remote because one of the hoses uh, came undone. So this is how we like to rake the fields. We do uh, three rounds around the field all the way around and then bail those out. And then you just run the rake back and forth down the longest part of the field. Uh, once you get to the end, you just raise the rake up, turn around and come back the other way. That way you don't have all these corners uh, all the way, go, if you're bailing all the way around the field and having to try to rake out all the corners. So it just, I think it makes it faster. It's just a little bit easier. You don't have to try to make all those tight turns and miss hay with the uh, baler. So this is how we like to do it.